Hey, Jenny McDougall. Uh, today we're going to be talking about repeating patterns. Uh, before we really dive into it, a uh, couple things you need to know are what the word term means. So in repeating patterns or in patterns, we mean the parts of the pattern. So in this pattern here, one would be term one, two would be term two, three would be term three, one here would be term four, and so on and so forth. The second thing you need to know, and what we're going to be trying to identify when we're looking at repeating patterns, is the pattern core. The pattern core is the part of the pattern that repeats. So in my pattern here, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, the part that repeats is one, two, three. And we can see it just keeps going. And if I were to do, uh, if I were to continue my pattern, it would be one, two, three again. Uh, so again, this is the pattern core, this is the part that repeats. Now, what we're going to be looking at today are identifying or answering questions like this, um, either identifying the pattern core or identifying particular terms in the pattern. So here, for an example, we're going to try, try to identify the tenth term. Now, we don't have a tenth term in my pattern here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine terms. So we've got to figure out what the next term would be. Now, inside you might, you might be shouting out that you know the answer, but I'm going to just draw a helpful tool that you can use for more complicated patterns and looking further ahead to more challenging terms that we would have to identify. So uh, we're going to label our t-chart number. And I'm going to write space, so I'll just write N-U-M and term. So. Oops, I made that, I did that backwards, I'm sorry. I, uh, I went, let me redraw this, my apologies. Draw it again. We have term, and because in this pattern we're looking at numbers, we're gonna label this side number. And then let's get rid of So term one is number one. Term two is number three term, oops, number two. Term three is number three. Term four is number one. Term five is number two. Term is number three. Term seven, again, we're back to number one. We can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to number one, term eight is number two, term nine is number three, term 10, well, what would come next in our pattern here? Well, we would repeat with the pattern core, but the next term would be back to number one, wouldn't we? So to answer my question, to identify the 10th term, the 10th term would be number one, and I'd write that in a sentence. All right, um, ask your teachers if you have any questions, but that's it for today's lesson. Thank you.